Hello, this is Brandon for MicroQuest, and today I'm going to take you through the brand new Connect Care billing interface within the HealthQuest EMR. First things first, to get started, you actually have to sign up for this process with Alberta Health Services, and there is a document that will be sent out to everyone that has the link. However, it will take you to this website where you've got a bit of background on the service code capture functionality, uh, and then what they have here is actually the service code request, or excuse me, service code capture request form that needs to be filled out. Uh, and sent to AHS. They'll actually talk with us at MicroQuest to help uh, get things coordinated, but it's also worthwhile if you send our support guys uh, a quick email just at support at microquest.ca and let them know that you want to be signed up for the uh, service code capture or the connect care billing and we'll make sure everything gets arranged there. Now once that's all done, you'll be heading over into HealthQuest here uh, where you'll now be able to get those claims from connect care directly into your HealthQuest instance and uh, and build them from there. So I've got the window open here already, but what you do to get started is come under this billing menu and go down to Connect Care Billing, uh, which will now open up that same window. Uh, and then you can actually hit download here, which will pull all of the claims that we've received from Connect Care uh, right into your HealthQuest database. So if I click that here now, uh, it'll tell you here, I don't have any, but it would normally show you how the claims and stuff that have come through. Uh, and then they'll start popping up in this window. Now, if I move back to March, where I had a few days worth of claims, you can see them here with the, the red boxes on those dates. Uh, and these ones are of a list of all the claims. Uh, there will also be different colors. Uh, there's yellow boxes as well that will show up that um, generally mean they're in some sort of different state here, like they're not necessarily a completed state for the schedule. They might be cancelled or arrived or scheduled or something like that, but there's still some data there, so it's still worth just looking at to uh, confirm whether or not that needs to be done. Uh, but anyway, we have our list of claims here. You can click on each one individually to see some of the information about it, and you can see that it does come across like your service code, your calls, your modifiers, your diagnostic codes. Uh, if there's any notes or anything that are in there, or facility functional centers, all that information does come across. Uh, and then you can just bill it like you would anything else in HealthQuest. So if we hit bill here, it's going to open up our new claim info. It's going to pull in the patient information. And again, all that same data, the service code, diagnostic code, service date. Uh, and then you just hit done. And you bill it. And yes, we'll do that. Uh, any errors that would pop up as normally will pop up uh, as they would. Uh, if there's any problems with the claim and so on. And then you can see it brings in the next uh, the next claim automatically as well. So you can basically just sit here and start moving through validating all your claims um, as you would off of this list here and just move through your whole day. So we'll do that. Yes, we'll go ahead. Well, that one's going to complain. See, it's got two diagnostic codes. This is just dummy data, but you get the idea that it'll kind of move through everything. So very simple. Uh, saves you doing a lot of double data entry with the, the claim data within Connect Care because uh, it'll automatically come across here into HealthQuest and you can just uh, go through it. The patient demographics, everything come across with it too. So it's definitely a huge time saver for uh, for anyone that's been that's using Connect Care to enter some of that claim information. Um, so that's basically it. Um, there is a bit more advanced functionality. Uh, you can actually use this bill all option if it's enabled. That'll go through and automatically bill all of the claims in here if it, if uh, if it can. Um, any of that give errors, like for example this one that we just built that had a couple errors, they'll be left in that list. So you can go through and clean them up. You can add that second diagnostic code, remove the CMGP modifier for, for that one as an example. Uh, so it'll kind of handle all that sort of stuff. Um, you can mark them as build manually if you wanted. So you can you know, mark build here. Um, it'll just confirm it. You can do that and get rid of it off the list. Uh, if it's something that's not really an Alberta Health code or it needs to be billed to the patient or the third party, you can do that as well. If you hit bill patient here, for example, it'll pull the same information in. You can bill directly to them. You can put the third party in there. If you've got like a manual A for something, you can pull them in, bill it off to them. Uh, do all that kind of stuff. You can get direct access to their client card as well if you hit that. Again, this is just uh, dummy information for, for testing purposes, but it will pull it um, the client information in. It will link it to existing clients in your database as well, so if it's the same patient you saw at an AHS facility that you've seen in clinic, you can it'll all be linked up there. Uh, and then, yeah, so really it's just kind of... Um, basically a holding spot for any claims that come in from Connect Care and just gives you a quick way to move through and bill all those claims without having to double enter all that information. So 
hopefully that all makes sense. And uh, if there's any questions, by all means, you can give MicroQuest support a call at any time at one uh, 866 438 3762 and uh, push one for support. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good day.